Hey, welcome. Hi, I'm Sue Carney, and I'm just going to share with you how I manage or try to manage these pesky needle tip vials that I like to use sometimes because they let me make some nice fine lines, unreliably fine, inconsistently fine, but they are they are in my repertoire, so I'm going to share what I've learned and what I'm learning and what I know. I hope you find something useful. Hey, hi. Welcome to my kitchen workbench. I spent about an hour just now taking these vials, these 10 milliliter vials, I think they are. No, they're 15. And um, out of the silk, they've been in, in the driveway for quite a while. And um, cleaned them out enough. <laughs> And, but the big project, project, they're needle tip vials. So when I put a, my, my fluid acrylics in here, I can squirt out a really fine line through this needle tip. And every single one of these needle tips was super clogged. So I put them in a dish pan of hot water and one at a time I used three tools to get them to function. Um, to clean out the clogs, run a pin through it. This is a straight pin. That's how, that's the, the fattest thing I can get in into this tip. And so I would use a combination of this straight pin, but when that wouldn't go through, I was using my skewers, wooden skewers, there would though, and they would get wet and get ruined. So today I thought of my, <laughs> my poor pick. Okay, what? My poor pick. So this is, uh, poor is a kind of tea that often is sold in cakes. Poor tea is supposedly the best tea you can drink for digestion and longevity. And I think it's delicious. So um, I, didn't used to buy the cakes because they were hard to break up, but somebody told me there's a thing called a pick. So I I found that my poor pick did an excellent job of reaming around, <laughs> reaming around the uh, inside of this and getting the acrylic solids out. And I have made every single one of these functional. It's amazing. I, I had to soak one of them a lot but I've made every single one of them functional. It did take about an hour, and um, I'm excited because I'm gonna do some uh, needle tip vial painting. So two things. One is I need a tool that's this wide, but stronger than a straight pin. I bent straight pins, trying to keep these tips open. I don't know, some kind of reamer, I suppose, is the word. I hope you can see it. It's just a straight pin, you know, that thing used for sewing. Um, I need some kind of reamer that's no wider than this. If you know of anything, so, you know, hit me up with a comment. That would be great. Of course, I keep searching. Since I made this video, I found super skinny awls online, and I bought them but they're not skinny enough to fit through the tips of these vials. Rest assured, I found many uses for them, but I'm still on the hunt for the perfect, super skinny, sharp, strong tool. The other thing is these are really fun to use and completely unreliable. You know, if you get inspired and go out and get some of these needle tip vials, be warned the stream of paint that comes out of the tip. It doesn't always come out in the angle or line that you expect it. It can sometimes veer off and not be in line with the tip itself. And sometimes if a clog is happening, these things can cause some unexpected splorps at unexpected distances. Like that's when I find myself cleaning the wall or the floor. So, Use at your own risk. They're 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 awesome and they're uh, exciting and unpredictable. Okay, cool. Thanks. Well, I hope that was fun and useful for you. Please subscribe.
hit the like button, share this with your friends, and please keep coming back. More videos soon. Thanks.